Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless. Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage. Good morning. Today is Saturday, March the 30th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 90. In today's show, we will cover Alice Shovelhead, married at 13. Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas, from the CHUMP studio. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back to 2000 and. 12. In 2012, I had a friend named David Calkins. David Calkins was an old timer that used to ride his shovel head up here uh, once a month, twice a month, and he was in his mid to late 70s. And the shovel head that he wrote, rode was really cool. And he carried a picture from the 70s of him sitting on that shovel head, leaning back with his feet up on the handlebars on downtown Sturges on Main Street. And they put it in Easy Riders magazine. And David loved this shovel head. So, but he had a hard time because it, it was a big bike. And he had one of the pogo seats, you know, the, with the big buddy seat on it for two people. And so it set way high, so he had a hard time getting off and on it. So he came in one day, and he said, I want to trade you out for my shovel head. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, I'm having a hard time riding it. Forgot my pills again. <laughs> uh... And I said, David, you, you love that shovel head. And he said, yeah, but I know that you'll keep it and you'll do something with it. Let's trade. How about for this Road King? Well, the Road King was worth a lot more than the shovel head was. But his dream was to ride to Sturgis when he was 80. And the Road King, even though it's a big bike too... It set lower because it didn't have the big pogo seat. So I traded straight across for it, got the shovel head, and I put it back in the back, and I didn't start it for years. And then one day his son called, and, you know, I kind of lost contact with David Calkins. His son called and said David was in a rest home, and they were going to take an outing, and they wanted to come see me and see the shovel head. So they did. They came and saw me. I took him back to the back. He's in a wheelchair. He wanted to see the bike. Took it back there. Pulled the cover off of it. He started trying to get out of the wheelchair. His son said, Dad, Dad, Dad. And he slapped his son's hand. And he said, Leave me alone. And he walked over to that shovel head. And he just started rubbing on it. And he started crying. It's very emotional. And I said, he said, you haven't done anything with it yet. And, I, and this was like five years later. And I said, no, but I'm going to. I'm going to. And I did. You know, a couple of days later, I put it up on the rack. I started ripping it all apart. And that bike is Alice today. So I will post a before and after picture. And you can see... Uh, sadly, David Calkins died before he could see the bike restored, but he did get to see it that one last time. So I call that bike Alice after my dog Alice, and David Calkins was a fine man. Let's check that chuck. Check that chuck. You been... Woo! Hey, look at that, man. You got some disco going on. Who are you talking about disco? This is black and silver, man. Okay, you got some sequins. Black and silver checkerboard. Black logo. 
white toe, white sew, double black racing stripes, two vent hose, hmm, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are dancing shoes, boy. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. Okay, let's check the office. Where you want to go? So my grandma that I read the calendar, that's her when she was young. Look how beautiful she was. So I keep that picture here, and then I have this other picture behind my desk. That's, that's my grandma there. That's me and Susie. That was in early 2000s, probably 2005, 6. And we were doing the Easy Rider Centerfold Tour, and we were in Sacramento. And I'm signing autographs, and my grandma actually signed some autographs too. So... Having said that, today is her birthday. She was born on March 30th. So if we take the 1960 weekly memo and we go to March 30th, her birthday, let's read it. Pretty day, parentheses, my birthday. Kenny and Barbara came out for supper. They got me a dress and a purse. Dick is still at Oklahoma City. He called me tonight. Well, Kenny's her son. Barbara is his wife. And Dick is my grandpa. He would go to Oklahoma City, I think, to buy some livestock sometimes. He had business out there. Okay, that's that. How we doing for time? Oh, you're running out. Dad joke, what did one wall say to the other wall? Let's meet in the corner. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. There's three things you can never recover in life. The spoken word, the moment after it's missed, and time after it's gone. So what does that mean? It means make good decisions. Lots of people I know are smart people that make poor decisions. Don't be that guy. Make good decisions. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. Tonight is Saturday, so we have uh, it's ladies' night. We bring in a DJ. He also does karaoke. So if y'all want to come hang out with us, that will be cool. We have... Uh, Cool things going on. The spring fling is April 5th, 6th, 7th. That'll be a blowout. And uh, that would be a great time to come see us. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Who am I? I was born in Kentucky in April of 1932. I was one of eight kids. I was married at 13 years old. I taught myself how to play the guitar and write songs. I had 70 albums and 16 number one hits. I won three Grammys and my life was the subject of a movie. Here's the giveaway. I was portrayed by Sissy Spacek. Who am I? Say it with me, y'all. I am. Loretta Lynn. That's another story. I need to tell you my Loretta Lynn story about Loretta Lynn and my mom. I forgot about that one. All right, Rick Fearless Fairless. Saturday be a great day to come out. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today and tomorrow. Uh, next weekend is the big party. And then on Monday, we have the Eclipse Watching Party. So we got a lot of stuff happening. You better get yourself out here. Check us out. Strokers Dallas Merch. M-E-R-C-H dot com. And I appreciate it if you bought something from us. All right, Rick Fearless Fearless. I wasn't married at 13, but I got there as fast as I could. Gotta go. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.